Hello? Oh, uh, hello. I'm sorry. Who am I speaking to, please? Register or nominate. Uh, no, would you mind giving me your name? I can only discuss the auction with registered bidders. Would you like to register or nominate? I I'm sorry, who gave you my name? I, I received a letter. Register or nominate. What is this about? Tonight, we're having haricot rouge served on thickly sliced, warmed artesian loaf. Beans on toast. Mom! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hi, baby. Where have you been? Mm, I just called in last minute on a consult. Are there any beans for me? Oh, I don't know. Will we? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good girl. He didn't burn them again, did he? Yeah. Oh, look at here. That's Ah, c'est bon. Merci. my name from know, the hospital website or a medical journal but it was just extremely disconcerting when it was hand delivered to my office so I thought a solicitor's letter would be the appropriate response what's wrong here Four years ago. What did you do? I bought the secret. So it's blackmail? You're not being asked for anything. You're invited to bid if you want to. What was the secret? I bought it for a reason, Amy. Jesus Christ, Hugh, who are these people? The broker I used. You're telling me to participate in this? This is your 400 euro an hour counsel? This is not a legal matter. I'm not advising you to do anything. I'm just telling you what I did. Four four one one. When is the auction? At the twenty eighth. Meet me tomorrow morning, nine thirty, Baruch and Periwig, second floor. How will I know you? I'll know you. Good morning. I'm 
I'm meeting somebody upstairs? Follow me this way. Dr. McCarthy. I didn't give you my name. You gave me the lot number. You should be arrested. The secret market only deals in facts. You're under no obligation to participate. What is the secret? No one knows. It's encrypted. And who's selling it? <laughs> I've no idea. So why do I need you? If the subject bids, it would attract the attention of other bidders who might feel the content is valuable. A broker allows you to bid anonymously. Winning an auction is easy. Winning at the lowest possible price is the art. And how much does a secret cost? Whatever anyone's willing to pay. If I were to act as your broker, I would need a ceiling. A figure I can't exceed. How am I supposed to value something when I don't know what it is? But you do know. Someone knows a fact about you, and they've decided it's valuable. I recommend a simple calculation. If your secrets were to be known in the morning, how would your life change for the better, or, as is more often the case with secrets, for the worse? Then ask yourself, how much would you pay to have everything returned to the way it was? That figure? Plus a 20% contingency is a rough guide. This is fucking insane. I have another meeting at 10. You trust me. I delivered for him. I'd be delighted to be your broker. If you're happy with my fees and terms. There's someone. What's stopping them selling the secret? Next month and then the month after that. It's against the rules. And no one breaks the rules. I'll call you once I have the auction details. He's an excellent surgeon. Hmm? We should consider making him an offer. Hello? Have you got a pen? Here.
calculation? Yes, I've got you 100,000 euros. Did you hear me? I've just said I got you 100 grand. I convince you to leave. No. Your presence will almost certainly drive the price up. I'm not leaving. Well, you've been advised. As soon as the bidding starts, don't react in any way. Not a word, not a sound, not a gesture. If they see you react, you'll never win. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have a full catalogue tonight, so without further ado. Registered bidders and brokers, may I ask you to test your lights? No verbal bids accepted. Our first lot is 1561. May I start the bidding at 5,000 euros? I have five in several places. May I say 10? 10. 15? 20. 25? 25. For the first time, and the second time, and third and final time, 25,000 sold. Lot number 4411. Where shall we start with this lot, ladies and gentlemen? Who will give me 5,000 euros? I have 5,000 euros. May I say 10? 10, 15, 20, 25 now, and 30, 35. May I say 40? And 40. 50 and 60. I have 60,000 euros. Is there 70 in the room? 70 now and 80. 80,000 euro for lot 4411. May I say 90,000? 90, 90 and 100,000? No. Are there any further bids, ladies and gentlemen? Then 90,000 euro for the first time and the second time, and the third and final time, 90,000, 100,000 euros, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Are there any further bids? <laughs> 120,000 euros, thank you. No. Silence, please. I have 120,000 euros. Bid. Silence, please, or you will be ejected. May I have 140? Bid. Are there any further bids? Can you not hear me? Just bid. So. Please, no, I said bid. Bid. No, no. <sighs> no. I warned you. Make them an offer. I will find the money. It's too late. You said you'd win. Please just go in there and win. The subjects in the room, the price always goes up. Come in. Dr. McCarthy. Yes, what can I do for you? My name is Alistair Pendle. I'm one of the partners at Pendle Investment Management. 
Whatever you're selling, I'm not interested, thank you. I'm certain you will be. On instruction from a client, we purchased a secret of which you were the subject. Who's the client? I'm not at liberty to say. Well, what do you want? My client wants to manage the encrypted file for you. It will be held on an extremely safe server for an annual fee. How much? 50,000 euro per annum. Until such time as you instruct us to release the data, unencrypted of course. You still have a chance to keep your secret. My client wants to spare you any potential damage to your reputation or your relationships. You can be confident the secret will be completely safe. This arrangement means it's in my client's financial interest to protect it, to protect you. See us as partners. We're in this together. What did you just say? We're in this together. Tell your client I said I uh, knew. Excuse me? With a single phone call, I can render your client's investment worthless. What? I can choose to reveal the secret myself. I mean, your client spent 120,000 euros buying something that I can just give away for free. A bluff. A gamble. Think of those around you. If it's infidelity, your family will be torn apart. Professional misconduct, malpractice. You will be struck off. Your name will be dragged through the press and the courts. Oh, I want to keep my secret. I'm going to do your deal. And your window of opportunity is now and only now. I will buy that encrypted file from your client for the same amount that they paid and not a cent more. Now, if he or she refuses, I'll tell the world myself before you've left this office. I come from nothing, Pendle. I know my way. I'm entirely familiar with your predicament, but I assure you, all things have a season and a price. I recommend a simple calculation. If your secrets were to be revealed in the morning, how would your life change for the better? Or, as is more often the case with secrets, for the worse? And ask yourself, how much would you pay to have everything returned to the way it was? That figure, plus a 20% contingency, is a useful guide. Champagne? What are we celebrating? 